Lord Vivek. Forgive me, Outlander, but I have enough to deal with. I'm just a simple tribunal priest, and the trouble at the ancestral tomb was too much for even our buoyant armager to deal with. I have failed, Lord Vivek, and left a colleague alone at the tomb. Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano ancestral tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety. But we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Canon Levoul. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions. But there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. By the three! First a wounded armager, now this! By dawn and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Those words, what do they mean? Wh what happened? Merciful Azura! The mother soul spoke through you. It's a miracle. Lord Vivek, protect me. That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, Outlander. I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course, but to witness such an event. She said evil creeps through the land. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we saw at the tomb. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Urnsi and we were forced to flee. Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, they'll rip Canon Levul apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. The buoyant armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Urnsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. Where are you from? Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste Flynn. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping Nyx shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? What do they teach you where you come from? Lord Vivek's a living god! Azura is merely the anticipation of Sothasil. Vivek stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no, they don't get along. You don't know Lord Vivek, one of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. You must be new to our land, Outlander. But there's no time. Canon Levoul remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivek's questions. Yes, one of the god monarchs of Morrowind. He's the warrior poet who lives in a grand palace in Vivek City. Lord Vivek sent us on this holy mission to request information from Canon Levoul's ancestor. It breaks my heart that I have failed him.
those monsters. It's too dead. Did Canon Valasas send you? Oh, she did, didn't she? That means she made it to Sedanin. Vivek, be praised. Will you help me complete my mission? It would be sacrilege if I don't enter my family's tomb and make Lord Vivek's inquiries. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Makes it hard to talk to one's ancestors while monsters try to eat you. I'll also need your help when we reach the summoning chamber. Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries. While I summon forth my ancestor spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection, you must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. I've already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but I suppose a few more moments won't make the volcano erupt or the moonlit fall from the sky or anything. <sighs> what else can I tell you, my friend? I'm not quite sure and it wasn't my place to ask. When your living god gives you a task, you say, Yes, my lord. The questions seem to involve the time before the tribunal, which I assume is why we must ask them of my long-dead ancestor. A few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Farina Andrino occupying a prime branch upon their family tree. Lady Farina studied at the feet of Solthesia, and was counted among his companions before the tribunal rose to power. Who so the seal? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunmer. So the seal is the architect of time and the binder of oblivion. If you want to know more, we can talk after we've finished. Before we go in there and face those monsters, I want you to know how much I appreciate your aid in this matter. Just don't lose the scroll that contains Lord Vivek's questions. Now come, let's call forth my ancestor. I'll open the tomb door. Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. Careful. The creatures attacked as soon as we entered the Hall of Remembrance. This used to be such a peaceful place. I came here as a young acolyte to meditate.
We're nearly there. Then we can summon my ancestor. Summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask Vivek's questions. Hasn't my rest been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra? Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them, with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Ask the warrior poet's questions, Outlander. Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains safe. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions as my time here is short. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw, but not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sleep. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. You should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. <sighs> Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. <sighs> Not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to the Vex City, to help me explain what my ancestors said. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Saint-Denis to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to the Vex City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward you for assisting me. I'll be along shortly. When you get to the Vex City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Once there, I'll make introduction. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmere society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the entire tribunal. 
Unfortunately, no. The Dunma houses bow to the Tribunal, but the savage Ashlanders refuse to acknowledge their divinity. The heretics never allowed themselves to be assimilated into the Great Houses. Instead, they hold to primitive superstitions. Please, thank. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavul, and let us speak. Canon Lavul says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Canon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the Ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the Archcanon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. The Daedric Prince? I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain, Strange Daedra, and then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Lavul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters, 
Hence the need for the divination ritual. trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch canon of a living god or anything. Ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The Blessing Stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano, and not a harbinger of doom. As for the Daedra, I have no idea. Perhaps the summoning got out of hand. Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all outlanders. This is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. However, I also obey my Lord Vivek. So I will tolerate your involvement and do my best to aid you.
This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the arch cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek, well, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the Consecration Chamber before the next shift, or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Go tell the Overseer what you did for me. Please, Vivek! The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the Tribunal. Did you bring the Blessing Stone? Stand over there. In Canon Level's absence, you will form the third corner of our ritual triangle. When you're ready, place the Blessing Stone and we'll begin the ritual. and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashlander? A clockwork mage? A dead 
Daedric cultist? Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. Hmm. I should write that down. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something, at least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no, not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. By divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office, and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you, and learn what you can. Energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes, while Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the tribunal, and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness.